Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. We are back at our Indian food food adventure, and today we are doing something a new food category, which is Indian rojak. As you can see here, this is an example of the typical Indian rojak that you will get at a food center. Indian rojak, you can actually say is a kind of like a salad, okay, with. Uh, deep fried battered potato, eggs, seafood, tofu, flour, you know, and other items. Okay, this is it is normally served in a served together with a sauce. Okay, this sauce itself is uh, hot and spicy and sweet also. It's like a sweet chili sauce together. Sometimes they put in peanuts. Sometimes they put in other ingredients. Okay, this dish itself. Is uh, uniquely is unique to this region of Singapore and Malaysia. It does not exist in India. The style you see in my videos here will be mostly Singaporean style Indian rojak. The Malaysian style one is slightly different. First of all, the sauce itself will not be so red. You do not have the variety of items to choose. Basically. They are more, you are more limited in the selection of different types of deep fried items that you can add to your rojak. The Indian rojak in Malaysia will include a shredded turnip and shredded cucumber together with the sauce. Anyway, Indian rojak, you can find it at any food center as long as they have a selection of Indian Muslim food, you should be able to find uh, this Indian rojak. Okay, so how you order? What you do is, okay, there will be when you go to the Indian rojak store, you'll see that there will be a few rows of uh, of the items you can choose. So basically, you go there, there will be a bowl and there will be tongs. So you take the tongs and you select the type of items you want. What type of items you can have? You can have tofu, which is bean curd. You can have fish cake. You can have a battered, battered stuff of flour, okay, of seafood or even egg, okay. So there'll be all these items to choose from. So you pick and choose what you want. After you've decided, okay, you give this to the owner. The owner will take it. Most likely they'll be they will deep fry it for you. After they deep fry, it, they will cut some uh, cucumber, uh, some cut green chilies, and sometimes even uh, onion. The rojak sauce itself is supposedly supposed to be sweet and spicy. Um, mostly, I feel that it's mostly sweet and it should have a thick texture. And this particular rojak, I actually uh, ate this actually at Albert, Albert Center, which is in which is near Bugis Junction. And the shop is actually called Siraj Famous Waterloo Street Indian Rojak. Another place that you can come for good rojak is over here. It's called Temasek Indian Rojak. This one is actually at Teka Center. Okay, this place also has good rojak, and they also have uh, something which is different, which is called uh, Paru Limpa, which is beef, which is actually the lungs of the cow. You can actually have that together with your rojak if you are willing to try something different. But uh, for me, this time I didn't take that. I just take first of all, of course, the this is the roja sauce itself. Not basically not very spicy, but mostly sweet. But I take a huge assortment of different types of battered deep fried stuff. Okay. So you'll be. With yeah, some of them here this place is unique in the sense that some of the deep fried stuff even though there's not there's no filling of egg or, or seafood inside they have different type of texture some texture is like a bread texture some of texture is like a, a steam bread texture so steam cake texture so it's slightly different slightly unique in that sense but they do make uh, some good rojak here so if you do if you are at Teka Center and you feel like you want some rojak this is a good place for you to try for me yep I did try 
and normally I order enough that they will need to give me uh, two bowls of sauce because that's how I roll eating lots of roja. Anyway, oh yeah, this is actually tempeh. Tempeh is actually a fermented soya bean. Then they pack it down into a flat cake, which uh, you she can cut up and then eat together for rojak. So that was uh, our basic entrance into the rojak scene in Singapore. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to join me for my next food adventure. Bye bye.